Those who have studied the third secret of Fatima without any prior prejudice and without being tied to politically correct discourse are convinced that there is a part that was not revealed by the Vatican in the year 2000. Its content is not known exactly, but in broad strokes. It would be an attack on faith and the church, which would have material and spiritual consequences. That there would be a loss of faith, apostasy, that would come from the top of the church. So what the world and the church are experiencing today did not come unexpectedly. Our Lady warned the church in advance that it would happen, although we do not know its full content precisely, which can be very important. Here we'll discuss the evidence we have about what the third secret of Fatima might contain, how it's unfolding right now, what we know about when what's missing might be revealed, and what we need to do to prevent the tribulation from escalating. It is increasingly evident that the church and the world are going through a situation without precedent in history. Faith is dying out in the world and also in the church as never before. They are very eloquent signs, the crisis of the abuses of priests and their cover-up by bishops. The increasingly common declarations of prelates relativizing the doctrine that comes from Jesus Christ himself through the apostles and proposing its change. And the adoption by the Church of the Agenda of International Cooperation Organizations with a clear Masonic sign. But this did not come unexpectedly. The evidence shows that this situation was foreseen and notified to the Church by the Blessed Virgin. Our Lady requested that this information that she had given in the Fatima apparitions be revealed in 1960. But Pope John published a statement on February 8th of that year in which he stated that the church does not want to assume the responsibility of guaranteeing the veracity of the words that the three little shepherds said that the Virgin Mary spoke to them. So not only did he not publish it, but he did not believe in it. With this concealment of Our Lady's message, a cover-up operation was started, perhaps with good intentions. But revealing the content of the message would have warned us of the terrible conspiracy against the Church of Christ, which was underway by its enemies. Enemies were empowered through the maneuvers they carried out at the Second Vatican Council, where an intense struggle broke out between those who wanted to maintain the doctrine that came from the apostles and those who wanted to start changing it. The letter of the council's conclusions did not give victory to the revolutionaries. But unlike other councils, it was ambiguous enough for them to declare success and leap forward for change in the decades to come, supported by the secularist media. Cardinal Pacelli, the future Pius XII, had already said in 1931, I am concerned about the messages of the Blessed Virgin to little Lucia of Fatima. This persistence of Mary on the dangers that threaten the church is a divine warning against the suicide of altering the faith, in its liturgy, in its theology, and in her soul. This indicates that the Vatican authorities were aware of the content of what is called the Third Secret of Fatima that Our Lady asked the Pope to publish in 1960. Later, Cardinal Silvio Adi would say in 1990, the Blessed Virgin warned us against apostasy in the Church. Cardinal Luigi Siapi, theologian to five popes, said in 1995, in the Third Secret it is predicted, among other things, that the great apostasy in the Church begins at the top. And Father Malachi Marty, secretary of Cardinal B, admitted that it says that there will be a world war and catastrophes, but that there was something even more horrifying, apostasy in the church. And John Paul II said in the Cathedral of Fulda in 1980, something that is evidently related to the third secret, we must prepare ourselves to soon suffer great trials. With your prayers in mind, it is possible to mitigate this tribulation, but it is no longer possible to avoid it because only in this way can the church be effectively renewed. If the Vatican hierarchs had paid attention to the prophecies that came from afar, they would have taken the information that Our Lady gave them at Fatima in a different way and would not have given in to the temptation to hide it. Our Lady of Good Success in Quito, in Ecuador in 1634, approved by the church, warned precisely what the third secret predicted, a great apostasy in the church. Our Lady told the Venerable Mother Mariana de Jesus Torres that in the late 19th century and throughout most of the 20th century, the church would give in to a great heresy. The sacrament of matrimony would be attacked and desecrated in Freemasonry, then in power, would enact iniquitous laws with the aim of abolishing that sacrament, making it easy for anyone to live in sin. 
and he warned that the Christian spirit would decay rapidly, extinguishing the precious light of faith until reaching the point that there will be an almost total and general corruption of morals, and that will result in the lack of priestly and religious vocations. Then, at the beginning of the 19th century, Our Lady revealed to Blessed and Catherine Emmerich that there will be a false church of darkness, while the true church continues to exist but is hidden. That false church will be an ecumenical church, and even non-Christian religions will have some affiliation with that so-called great, universal, world church. And there will be a false pope and a true pope reigning at the same time, just as it was during the Great Western Schism in the 14th century. And at the beginning of the 20th century, Pope St. Pius X predicted the appearance of that false religion when he spoke about the great apostasy movement that was being organized for the establishment of a one-world church that would have no dogmas, no hierarchy, and no discipline of thought, nor break for the passions. And in 1973, when some negative consequences of the revolutionaries hijacking the council were already clearly visible, Our Lady appeared in Akita, Japan which Cardinal Ratzinger himself, as prefect of the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, judged worthy of belief and which is the continuation of Fatima. In Akita the Virgin said that, The work of the devil will infiltrate even within the church in such a way that one will see cardinals opposing cardinals, bishops against bishops. The priests who venerate me will be despised and confronted by their confreres. The church will be full of those who accept commitments and the devil will pressure many priests and consecrated souls to leave the service of the Lord. And he also predicted that the father would apply a punishment such as had never been in the world. So the content of the third secret that we already see unfolding before our eyes is the combination of a spiritual and a material catastrophe. The spiritual catastrophe is apostasy, the loss of faith, which will begin at the top of the church and which will put hundreds of millions of souls in danger of going to hell if they do not convert. And the material catastrophe, which we have dealt with less in this video for the sake of brevity, are natural disasters and a great war in which Russia would be involved, as we already see in its germ. And will this third secret of Fatima ever be revealed by the church hierarchy? Father Paul Kramer, who has been a student of the Third Secret of Fatima for 35 years, said that when he was in Fatima in 1991, he was informed that the Carmelites of Fatima had received word from Sister Lucia and her convent sisters from Coimbra. Our Lady had appeared to Sister Lucy shortly before May 1991 and told her that the Third Secret was going to be revealed during the course of a major war. War will break out suddenly, and the true church will be thrown into the catacombs. And when the Pope of that moment realizes that keeping the third secret hidden no longer makes sense, because the Russians will have already made their move, he will reveal the missing text of the third secret. The condition for the events that are apparently stated in the third secret to happen is the distance from God, the loss of faith, so it can be reversed by converting. In other words, the merits that Christians do lead God to reduce the time of tribulation because the duration and intensity of material and spiritual catastrophes, including persecution, depends on our testimony of faith and courageous defense of the truth. The Virgin said in Akita that the only weapons that will remain for us will be the rosary and the sign left by my son, which is the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And Our Lady of Good Success said that this dark time in the history of the church will mark the arrival of her hour, and that God will finally put an end to this within the church, sending the prelate who will restore the spirit of his priests. Well, up to here what we wanted to talk about what is known about the missing part of the third secret of Fatima and when it could be revealed. And I would like to ask you if you think that we are far or close to the time when the missing third secret will be revealed. 